everybody, welcome to another video from Back on Point. Today we're going to be talking about the pros and cons of having a workout buddy. So there are a lot of great things about having a workout buddy, a gym buddy, an accountability buddy, whatever you may call them. Somebody who comes along to the gym with you or to a fitness class or even just works out at home with you. A lot of times they're friends because you might feel uncomfortable just working out with a stranger, but they don't necessarily have to be. So let's talk about the great things, the pros of having a workout buddy. I think number one is just having somebody there with you for encouragement and confidence. You might feel a little scared going into the gym by yourself if you're not used to working out or going into a class you've never taken before. Having somebody you know by your side might make you feel braver. The second pro of having a gym buddy is having somebody to carpool with. Just alternating who drives and taking one more car off the road. Another great thing about a gym buddy is if they're at about your same strength level, they can act as a spotter for you so you can feel more confident trying lifts that are bigger and heavier and really pushing your goals forward. And if your gym buddy knows what they're doing, they can do form checks for you. They can let you know where you're kind of missing things and what things you can tweak to make an exercise better for your body. And a gym buddy can bring you new ideas. Maybe they really enjoy an exercise you've never heard of, or they provide the little kick in the pants that you need to try a new class. But having a gym buddy isn't all sunshine and rainbows. There are some downsides to working out with a partner. Here's just a few. First, they can provide distraction for you. How often do you see people at the gym who are too busy talking to each other to pay attention to their workout, using up too many machines and not even really using them, leaving a mess everywhere, on their phones showing each other memes and stuff like that. It's a big problem with gym buddies because it's likely a friend of yours and you want to talk to your friend, but you have to remember you're there for a workout. Another downside to having a workout buddy is you have to get your schedules the same, which can be difficult if you aren't both working the same schedule or if your schedules change frequently. Because if you're going to be going to the gym with somebody, you both need to be able to be there. If one of you gets done with work at 5 and one isn't done till 7, that person who's done at 5, sitting around for 2 hours, they might lose all motivation to go to the gym. And while I said earlier that your gym buddy can provide really good form checks, that's only if they know what they're doing. If they don't, they could actually encourage you to use poor form. They can look at you doing an exercise and say, yeah, that looks great, that looks perfect, when actually you're messing something up or you could be changing it to work better for your body. Your gym buddy is likely not a personal trainer and so you shouldn't necessarily treat them as one. So there are some pros and cons about having a workout buddy. Do you have a workout buddy? Do you have somebody that you always go to the gym with? What do you think are the biggest pros and cons? Let me know in the comments below. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and make sure you subscribe if you want to see all my videos in the future. Thank you guys for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day.